Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be part 11 of my uh, semi-deity uh, Russia on uh, I, the uh, Play Europe Again Yet Not Another Maps Pack map. Um, anyway, uh, the last time around um, we were making some uh, progress on some stuff here uh, without any extra war. Uh, I still really need to uh, improve my... Uh... Wait, what's, what's this? Apparently not, nothing I can click on. Um, anyway, I really uh, need to... Uh, in, get my infrastructure up, get my science rolling along, uh, because I am so far behind here that if anything happens, I'm basically toast. So I need to do whatever I can to uh, to fix that situation. Uh, now, of course, the uh, uh, the problem is the AI is uh, so far ahead like if we look here there's um, four that are behind me in the tech tree and every uh, I look at um, Trajan's all the way out in the future era and we've got a couple in the information era and you know almost everybody else is in the information era and uh, I finally got up into the modern era. So, uh, if we'd been playing to win here, we would have lost on the space race ages ago. Uh, or at least we would be just about to lose. Uh, so, uh, it basically, uh, if this had been a regular game, not a how long can I last game, then... I would have lost ages ago. I would have quit ages ago because it's it's not it 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 was clearly not winnable after um, the Scythian invasion uh, during the emergency targeting me. It was definitely no longer winnable at that point. I lost so much time running defense that I just could not uh, catch up. Uh, and as a result of that, I got invaded by others uh, because uh, I was weakened. And I still haven't recovered. Uh, even though I, uh, I finally got up to having urban defenses, which helps, uh, I'm, basically, uh, I'm basically toast. Uh, I, I barely got any gold coming in. Uh, I, I just can't afford to have a proper military. And uh, that means that, uh, uh, that quite frankly, uh, if the AI, especially Scythia, decides to invade, I'm toast. Um, right. You know, I'm just going to knock that out. It's one turn. Uh, I think the Military Academy would be a good buy there. Right, and I'm buying, uh, or I'm farming over there. Over here. Uh, I need uh, production, obviously. Now, which way do I go on here? Well, I think I go here. Uh, that should get me uh, much better uh, um, production, well, uh, growth. Uh, once this um, entertainment complex comes out, uh, I'll be much better off because, uh, you know, then I'll throw down an arena and then a zoo. And uh, that will... Uh, that will help a little bit on the amenities.
what I want to do though is check in on the uh, emergency. Oh, somebody has brought ranged units in here. Yeah, see, Rome has death robots. And uh, that's uh, death robots in 1902. Uh, so I would guess that uh, they're going to be able to defend their city. Um, yeah, so I think if I were to do this again, I would... Uh, Put a mod in to disable the death robots uh, just because they are well they're crazy uh, and the AI tends to spam them uh, but really uh, I think I want to try this again as Russia but on a lighter difficulty level just to see just how hard this is on, on a lighter difficulty level I actually did that once but it was before the uh, recent patches, and what happened is the barbarians were spawning death robots, and because they were spawning death robots, I had no possible way of defending against getting swarmed. I, I literally got swarmed hard by barbarians with dozens of death robots. Uh, and it was because I couldn't because of all this empty territory up here it was empty on my on that game less empty but it was empty um and oh that okay so we got a normal age next time now so that's good um so i got swarmed so hard by death robots barbarian death robots that uh there was no possible way to continue the game. It was really, really, really brutal. Now, I have coal, six per turn. I ca could actually benefit from a coal power plant, so I'm going to do that, even though it might not be the smartest thing in the world. Okay, so I've got the aqueduct and the... Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, build the dam as well. Um, so I'm going to do this, build some uh, lumber mills there. Now here, I think this, this would be the spot to, to go, so I'm going to move over here. I really wish you could stack with other players when you're... Uh, when, when it's open borders. But seriously, you get open borders with a uh, player and then stack all your units in his territory and cripple them. Uh, it's it's just uh, brutal uh, that, you know, you could literally cripple someone without ever going to war just by preventing them from moving their stuff around. But anyway, um, I had tried before on, uh, I think it was Prince, and getting swarmed by death robots from the Barbarians uh, ended up slowing me down so much in the, mid, in the, in the late game, uh, or the, the late mid game, that the AIs were able to just come in and mop up. It was brutal. And also, earlier on, uh, I got swarmed so hard by barbarians, uh, because this is about the only empty space on the map when you start, I got swarmed so hard that it slowed down my early game as well. So even on Prince, it was quite difficult. But I think the equation on that has probably changed quite a bit since the patches, because a whole bunch of stuff has been nerfed and buffed and all of that. So it, it might make uh, uh, quite a difference. Although, uh, if you play your cards right, this is actually a pretty decent start. Uh, though, I think I might have been better employed chopping a couple of these woods. Uh, but even so, with the wheat and the uh, horses, uh, it was pretty solid for food and production. So, uh, 
at the very least, the capital city for Russia has uh, on this map for, with true start locations is absolutely brilliant for uh, at least uh, getting started. Uh, but what you need to do is uh, do your build out correctly, and I think that's where I failed. I might actually just abandon this after this part here, just because of how long these turns are taking. Um, well, I think I really need to be building the library. Uh, I go over here. Uh, Okay, you can go over there. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I may abandon this just based on how long these turns are taking because I don't want to go through and edit turn weights out in post. Uh, that's just too much effort. Uh, I'm pretty much going to toss these up with a title card and an end card and be done with it. But seriously, all the the uh, rock bands, now where are they? I mean, can you even see uh, opposing rock bands? I know you used to be able to. I don't think you can. And where are they performing, like seriously? Well, they're probably in the fog where I can't see them. Yeah, did they set it so you can't see opposing rock bands anymore? I'm starting to think that's the case because I haven't seen a single one of these. Now, uh, probably those of you watching with their eagle eyes have are, are um, literally pointing at their screen shouting, The rock band is over there! Oh, there it is. Lost questions. But there must be more of them around. Because that was, what, six of them or something? Then again, uh, if it was their last concert, they would have disappeared off the map. Okay, we'll do this. Um, you can have a farm. Uh... Two turns for a coal power plant there. Okay, so the uh, coal power plant is uh, going to give me a, a production boost in uh, Moscow, and it will also for neighboring cities as well. Uh, you know, once uh, once I have something that needs power there. Uh, I've got a uh, commercial hub coming online. I mean, is it playing the uh, rock band uh, uh, anthem there? Uh, no matter where on the map the rock band is? wonder if there's a setting to turn that off. Oh, I can. I should be able to upgrade the bombard. That would be uh, something that would be smart to do. 
Who was defeated? Pericles? Oh, Gilgamesh. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I find it interesting that the AI Cyrus was able to take out the AI Gilgamesh. Uh, obviously, Gilgamesh didn't uh, do a Warcart rush right away. Or Cyrus got lucky. Then again, the AI gets, uh, you know, a deity gets uh, such, a, such a lot stronger combat that they can take out uh, barbarians easier as well. Seriously, an actual warrior? The Light Bastards. A warrior. Mongolia has a warrior. And chariots. Okay. Couple turn. Oh! That's the. Uh... Right, so I want to mark it here. And I want an arena there. Uh, Granada. Whoops. Granada. Huh. No suzerain. Huh. Right. Uh, seven turns for mass media. Uh, clearly, I need to get some culture going as well. Uh, I believe I can use uh, build charges on the... Uh, great engine or the military engineer to uh, hurry the dam here so I'm going to do that assuming I'm not misremembering uh, right I always thought that the AI had an unreasonable uh, luck uh, 20 gold only Will you trade it for one of these? That and 79 gold one time. That will work for me. Um... Yeah, see, if we go down here, yeah, there, there's, nobody's going to be taking Athens. So, yeah, that's basically done. Uh, Pericles looks like the next one out. Looks like the Romans and the Ottomans are going to go for go in for a hell of a fight here. Although Hungary could make a, a substantial... Uh, um, impact as well. So, yeah. Well, interesting. That's about where I would have put the uh, cities on the uh, Italian peninsula there. Um, right. Yeah, it's not so far off. See, uh, Rome has a very defensible border here, as long as you don't build these. Um, and this is actually fairly defensible as well. So until seafaring becomes a real threat, the Italian peninsula is fairly... Uh, fairly secure but once you have the uh, the um, uh, seafaring being a factor 
then it's uh, pretty pretty easy to uh, get clobbered because everything's pretty much coastal. Uh, is there a fight going on there? We have a mitigated flood. Yay, it's a power plant. And yay, it's a um, trader that we can uh, build. Which we'll do. So now we've got uh, power. Uh, right. Now here... Right, we've got a market here. That's uh, kind of good. Uh, we'll build a bank. Because I really need to get all of these uh, money buildings up. Uh, how much to upgrade you? 620. Yeah, we're not going to get there anytime soon. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is bring this down to here. So that in two turns, I don't have to remember to move it. Uh, right. So here, we can add production. That takes four turns off, so we'll take another four off next time. So we, we'll be down to five turns. Um, right. Now, what do I need in Moscow? I probably need to build an entertainment complex, but I should actually put up an encampment yeah an encampment would be absolutely smart uh, just so that I can uh, uh, build uh, core well cores and uh, armies directly since that's going to be my high production city Okay, so we definitely have, uh, the turns are taking so long because there's so many uh, cities and units, right? So that's making a huge difference. Uh, right. I see there's a lot of loyalty swapping going on along some of the borders there. Uh, the AI doesn't have uh, particularly good luck with um, uh, with uh, um, uh, loyalty operations, although it's better than it was. It does a little bit less, settle right beside your capital city on the fourth turn, and then lose the city to uh, loyalty pressure. Uh, which is something that, uh, when the loyalty system was first brought in, that's what the AI would do. It would come along, it would forward settle you, and your loyalty, or your citizen pressure would be enough to erase its city and then the AI would lose its city and then it would do it again and lose its city and do it again and lose its city until the the frontier moved close enough to its uh, core cities that its pressure uh, balanced with yours and of course every city it lost that way would uh, switch over to you eventually and just increase your reach into their territory Okay, so we got the trader. Uh, a neighborhood might be a good idea. But I think... Hmm... Artillery needs oil, huh? Uh, I'm going to build the spy while the building's good. And here I've built a library, so I'll go for a university. And we can send an envoy. Yeah, we'll do that. And if I do this... 
Now we're down to four turns on that, and uh, that'll be brilliant for the uh, industrial zone. Uh, where am I going to send this guy? Three production. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send him there. Uh, right. One more turn for the uh, uh, art museum. So it takes way too long to uh, process these turns. I've got a pretty decent computer here, actually. It's not by any means a beast of um, of uh, gaming or anything like that, but you don't need that for a game like this. Uh, but it's got uh, boatloads of RAM and uh, uh, pretty solid CPUs. Well, one CPU, but it's uh, a stack of cores in it. And that, um, and that, so it should be able to, you know, process the turns faster than it does. Uh, one would think. So it makes you wonder what they've done to make it take so long. Uh I wonder if it has something to do with uh, a little too much on the uh, graphics side, and a little and, and a little bit too little on optimizing the uh, um, uh, the uh, game operations. Uh, on the theory that you know you're not going to uh, run into that too often, you know, for much of the game or something like that. Uh, then again, considering that, uh, you know, in the original release, you know, like before Gathering Storm, you could play a ludicrous size map uh, from uh, yet not another maps pack and uh, make it to the late game before, the, before things became unplayable. Now, you can't even load it. So, based on that... You know, it's, uh, uh, you know, the game is actually fairly impressive, but based on, you know, some of the stuff they've done, I would uh, suggest that uh, the coders need to spend a little bit more time uh, improving uh, the capabilities, reducing the footprint of the game. Uh, right. So that was an art museum, now obviously a bank, and I'll do that. A haboob. Uh, right. Okay, what did we get here? We got a uh, Cossack. Uh, yeah, I've been whining about gold all along here. Uh, Where is the best place to drop this? Uh, industrial. I'll drop it there. Uh, okay. Those are armies. Uh, I've got a Cossack coming here. I'll send him over there. Uh, right. Uh, very good. Uh, so, uh, what, what now? Okay, moving on. Yeah, as I was saying last part, I think it was, uh, I probably should have been settling these 
cities a little bit closer. Um, but I, I don't know, that, that may not have been the issue here. Because uh, I had lots of territory to spread out in, and spreading out over the territory is something Russia's really good at. So, uh, I suppose it's a preference thing. Lots of denunciations going on. I suppose it's possible that we could stage a late game comeback here. Uh, that would be uh, a, an interesting result. Um, but I'm thinking that... Uh, I'm not thinking that's terribly likely. I mean, catching up with Rome uh, is impossible. Uh, catching up even with uh, the others is going to be difficult. Uh, is I, I got s delayed so much with the early w those early wars, which they delayed my development in here by 40 or 50 turns. And uh, that's uh, why I'm so far behind. Uh, so if, if you ever want to seriously cripple your opponents... Get them embroiled in war early, early, early on. And uh, basically get them wiped out. Like, they don't have to be wiped out of the game. But you can cripple them horribly if you can get other uh, civilizations to invade and keep them occupied. It doesn't hurt the AI as bad as it hurts the human. But it does hurt. And, uh, you know, like I, I've seen it. Uh, I've seen AIs uh, that should have been doing far better than they were. Except they were getting continually swarmed by barbarians. In a situation exactly like this, with empty space around them, they were getting swarmed so hard by barbarians that they just couldn't make any headway. Any time they manage to uh, get a military unit out escorting a settler or something like that, uh, 14 barbarians would show up and then the military unit's dead in two turns and the settler's gone again. Uh, I've actually strolled in, uh, late game in a few cases, into a con onto a continent with uh, two or three AI cities from one sieve and half the or three quarters of the continent being empty and I stroll around with my tank or something or whatever I brought along and I take out uh, stacks and stacks of warriors horsemen and that sort of thing and pick up seven or eight settlers uh, that are just laying around because the AI just could not uh, could not deal with the barbarians and I guess how that happens is, so like, like you may think that it's great when you discover that you spawned on a continent with nobody else, except maybe a couple of city-states. But, uh, sure, it means that the AIs are all fighting each other, and you don't have to worry about them for 50 or 60 or 70 turns, at least. But it probably means that 90% of the barbarian camps that spawn on the entire world will spawn right beside you. So in fact, it's like you'd spawned right next to all of the other civs and started at war. Uh, and it's just that hard to deal with when you get, when you get uh, continually swarmed early on. Because there's no way you can get enough units out early on to deal with that. Uh, when the barbarians come from seven directions all at once, uh, there's no possible way you can deal with that. Uh, like you saw what happened in the first uh, episode of this series, uh, I think it was this series anyway, where I got uh, literally swarmed by barbarians right off the start, and uh, 
I had to work really hard to uh, uh, to deal with it. I think that was this series. Uh, two, two. Yeah. Uh, so I'll send that there. So getting trade routes up is critical when you need to support your army and everything else. Uh, but also getting uh, getting things like commercial hubs up is critical uh, when you need to bankroll things. Uh, and since the AI gets to cheat on that a bit, it's uh, a little bit annoying. Uh, they don't get to cheat on that on print. Uh, they're actually playing exactly even same rules as the human. Uh, they just happen not to be as good at things. Well, Scythe is happy. Tamiris is happy right now. So, um, I wonder if I can get friendship with her. That would be, uh, actually, it, you know, if I could do that and get an alliance, who, uh, ah, I think I'm dead. Uh, why are you whining at me? I didn't declare the war. Okay, how strong is she? I have a sort of a chance. Uh, I think I will uh, try to... Uh, uh, try to get uh, a, a friendship with uh, Tamiris. Is if I can, uh, and maybe get her to join my ongoing war. That would be cool. Um, or maybe just being friends would help. Uh, I'll, I'll try that uh, this turn. I'll try uh, getting a. A friendship, maybe an alliance with her. But if I can get an alliance, then uh, I have a much, much better shot. Uh, right. A mitigated disaster. Yay. Oh, come on. There we go. Atomic Era ends in 10 turns. What? Wait. No. Return to game. Come on. Way too much tried to pop up all at once there. Target one, so yeah. Well, first off, can we declare friendship? Okay. I'll establish an embassy. Now, alliances. Nope, I can't form an alliance. Okay. Make deal. Join ongoing war. No. Join ongoing war. Trajan. No. Uh, yeah, apparently. That's not going to work, so, right. Well, okay, well, that was uh, actually quite uh, productive. So, 
Uh, right. Right, I wanted an encampment here. So I should actually make it. And I'll put it here. This is a big empty space, so that seems like a good spot for it. Uh, we'll put up a commercial hub here. And where am I going to stick this one? I will stick this one in the city center. And can I... I cannot hit anything from here. Okay. Uh, right. So, I've taken out one of Poland's... Uh, Uh, units. You know, I really should have uh, brought uh, a, a Cossack or two over. No, wait. I kind of do want to keep it here. Yeah, I do. Because I could get an invasion come across here. I think I think she's going after this uh, city because it's uh, close. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, this here is going to be annoying. So I think if this war does not go well, uh, this will be the end of the game. But if it doesn't go too poorly, like if we can survive 10 turns and... Uh, um, uh, make it... Uh, make an offer of peace... I think we'll have a, a decent shot. Uh, but there's a swarm coming up from over here, so uh, that's going to definitely uh, impair uh, what, uh, what I can do, especially since I'm staring at machine guns. Although it's not the machine guns that are the biggest problem. It's... Uh, it's any uh, melee units that come in. Uh, the melee units are the uh, the killer. Uh, right, so I'm going to put a bank up here. We have a governor title. Uh, right. I'm going to uh, promote Amani. Uh, yeah, I'll put that one in. Uh, right. So, that's a minor victory. Well, first of, no, first, I'm going to shoot you and shoot you okay and then that's those are armies that's not well I'll shoot you and I'll shoot you right
And I should bring my, I really should bring my Cossacks over. So I'll bring you over here and you over here. No, 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 no. Uh, and I have another one up here, which I can bring down here. Over here, actually. Right. Next turn. Uh, the Cossacks may be able to uh, survive the machine guns. I'm not sure. Since they're going to be in, in home territory, uh, that can't hurt anything. Oh. I think I have a great artist that uh, should be uh... yeah oops I got distracted right so we'll see what happens here there's gonna be a few more shots at the Yeah, I think I'm going to lose the city. Maybe. Probably. Now, I don't see any melee units, but they might be hanging back just out of visibility range. Um, uh, right. Because there's a whole bunch... Like, this, see, this is how you uh, come after something with, uh, with the uh, ranged units, right? Right, I think it's uh, our turn now. Okay. Well, I'll start with that. And that. I'll bring you up here. And you up here and you here actually if I bring you over here you over here you can attack then you can come up here you can't attack Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. Uh, yeah, that was not very smart. Huh, yeah, that was not very smart. Uh, barracks? Okay, let's see how that goes. Yeah, I should have just parked him here. But it's still adjacent to my territory, so there's that. Yeah, it's plus five combat strength uh, when adjacent, so... Yep, that's what I expected, because I was an idiot, though it did delay the uh, attack on my uh, city a little bit, 
and it means I should be able to take this guy out this turn. He, those armies are the real killer, right? Uh, and if you can knock them down, then uh, you have a shot. Uh, he wants... Yeah, okay, that, ju that just seemed like a no-brainer. Um... Oh, I should have enough faith to buy a uh, Cossack uh, army somewhere that has a military academy. Right, so can I? Cossack army yeah or a field cannon army actually no cossack okay so you shoot you shoot you shoot you shoot. Okay. So far, so good. No. Uh, you heal. Right. Okay, so that was the initial uh, strong units no armory no stock exchange um right no 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 you need to stay back here Okay, so he's either going to bring this guy out, or these two will come in. He'll, he'll keep hammering on here, for sure. Where did he take his uh, uh, rocket artillery? Where'd the rocket artillery go? It's probably back here. Well, clearly he's got an endless supply of those. But not all that many. Uh melee units by the look of it uh i should make peace with trajan actually yeah i really should make peace with trajan uh well anyway we'll see what happens here I might actually be okay. I might be able to uh, weather this uh, thing with uh, Poland. I'll lose this uh, district, but... Um, losing that district is probably less of a problem than... Uh, losing... Uh, losing the war uh, right uh, 
Uh, first of all, do that. Uh, second of all, talk to you. Make peace. Well, if that's all he wants... Uh, right. Now. We're five turns in. Okay. Okay, so, what can we hit? We can hit you. And we can, well, we can hit you. And we can hit you, right? You can go over there. You, I think, should come out here and take a shot. Because uh, I don't want to lose the unit, but, uh, and this uh, district is done. Uh, production here, market. Okay. And I can bring you all the way up to the front. Okay. Right. Next. So that I suspect this district, the encampment will go, and then we'll come in for the city. I suspect. Um, what's the 1186? Poland's down to 1186. So, take out a couple more of those uh, machine gun uh, armies, and uh, there's a chance. Right. No, uh... <laughs> no melee units. What, did Poland lose all their melee units with another war? Apparently I have an impressive military. That can't be right. Uh, fortifications, 21 to 400. So I'll still get... I need to attack this. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to take that out. That'll be a fair chunk of the uh, military strength. 1203. Built a unit, huh? Okay, so... Uh, okay, yeah, it's our turn. Okay, so, since that's the only thing in range there, we'll take that shot, and that shot, yeah, and this, and this, and we'll come up here and attack. Okay, and how far, you can't get back anywhere, okay, uh, damn, it's gonna die, uh, university, bank, production,
Cossack Army Great work Cossack Army Bring it forward Okay Well, I'll bring this guy over here. Okay, so... That was the rocket artillery taken out. And I see there's two machine gun armies and a regular machine gun. No kidding, I don't pose a threat to you. I've got half a world between us. Okay, so we get replaceable parts in a couple of turns. Yeah, I knew he was going to die. But, next up... We take some, some a couple shots at the machine guns. Uh, you know this might be tedious, but I don't think it's impairing our operations all that much. Okay, that was a flood. So that was a bank there. Uh, stock exchange. Now, what can, well, we have, we can do no damage whatsoever. Well, we might as well take the promotions on these guys and I think back these guys up well actually I want to put this guy still here now I'll leave them there okay No, I'll back this guy up. Now we'll see what happens. Uh, this, uh, I think, will be the last turn for this part, at which point I'll decide whether I want to continue with this. Uh, I might just mothball it and then see if I come back to it later. This is kind of uh, where I end up with these things, where I'll get to a point like this, where... It's really fairly clear that I'm done for. Uh, I'm either going to hit a steady state or uh, I just am not going to catch up in time and whatever big uh, militaristic empire is tooling around way out in front will uh, end up uh, being the... Uh, uh, the big uh, thing that ends the game in 500 or 800 or a thousand turns, right? Uh, I mean, this is this is uh, turn 339, so coming up on 340, and I'm actually not doing too bad as far as a player goes, the player side of things. If I was playing on Prince, you know, as far as uh, advancement, uh, 
except I would have had uh, you know twice as many cities settled uh, by this point and therefore had a lot more infrastructure underway. I, I would have had uh, my frontier spread out a little bit further into the uh, the wastelands back there uh, and therefore my core cities or at least the cities in the back could be uh, steadily improving for 200 turns and then I'd suddenly be able to call up a huge military in 20 turns, right? Replaceable parts. Okay. Uh, well. Uh, advanced ballistics would be good, but I can't afford to upgrade anything. So I'm going for... Uh, Uh, right, I'm going for refining. Uh, right, put an armory there. Now, I obviously need to go after this guy. Okay. So if I bring this guy over here, then I can attack here, bring this guy up, so I keep the flanking bonus. Okay, so that's another, uh, that's another unit tanked. Uh, she's at 1227. Huh. Okay, I got a bank there, stock exchange. Well, I guess an armory. Uh, you can uh, do your thing there. Uh, I will move this to the capital. Uh, this guy can come up here. Uh, at the very least, he'll provide flanking support. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I guess there's uh, not much more to do this turn. Uh, how many turns left before I can make offer piece? Two turns. So I guess if I can get peace with Poland without losing any more units, and that was another machine gun army we took out, so that was pretty solid. Uh, if I can do that, then I get it might be worth continuing because that um, invasion hasn't been particularly concerted. Uh, even though Poland has a huge pile of territory and clearly isn't repairing the walls here. Um, yeah, uh, it. I suspect much of... Uh, Poland's uh, military strength here, the 1227, is uh, related to city garrisons, and uh, it's mostly ranged. So, I suppose uh, it might be worth uh, playing it out a bit further and see what happens. Anyway, uh, that's going to be the end for this time around. Uh, if I do uh, decide to continue it, uh, well, you'll know because you'll see another part show up. Uh, I will save the game and uh, keep it around in case I decide to. But uh, meanwhile, I'll uh, uh, I'll put up the uh, parts that I have and uh, see how things go. Uh, that's all for this time. And uh, if there's another part, I'll see you back for that.